babes, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy Sun. If you're new here, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It is finally time for another Aloe Yoga try on haul. I love doing these videos because Aloe Yoga is one of my favorite brands to shop from. I have quite a few pieces to show you guys and I will say this haul was kind of a hit or miss. Some things I am absolutely head over heels for and other things I'm just kind of like, eh. I don't know if that's going to work out for me. So I am kind of in a pickle because I cannot return any of these items anymore because it's been a while since I have actually shopped these items. But it'll be fine because I have a feeling that I can make everything in this haul work for me. It just needs a little bit of tweaking. Anywho, before we get started, I want to thank Ana Luisa for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They're my go-to jewelry brand for whenever I'm on the hunt for trendy, affordable gold jewelry pieces. Their selection of designs is massive and I can literally find anything for any occasion. You know how much I love my gold jewelry and I love dressing up my simple outfits with jewelry pieces because it's the best way to elevate an outfit. Their prices are so good. Some of their pieces start at only $39, which is insane for quality jewelry. And on top of that, in November, they're offering up to 30% discount on their jewelry pieces. So make sure to go ahead and check them out. For this video, they kindly gifted me three pieces to share with you and one of which I am wearing on my ears right now and I'm obsessed with these twisty hoops. I have a weakness for gold hoops and these are fantastic because they are quite different than all the hoops that I own in my collection and I own a lot. I've had some of my Ana Luisa pieces for a very long time and none of them have tarnished on me, which is amazing. These are the other two pieces that I got from Ana Luisa and look how cute these earrings are. Oh my gosh. They have this like light turquoise color and these are earrings, obviously. I cannot wait to wear this in the fall with like an all brown outfit. So, so cute. And I love this design because the style is very statement-like, but it's not overly like out there, if you know what I'm saying. I don't like earrings that are so, so big where it just takes over the entire look, if you know what I'm saying. And this is a necklace. Look how beautiful that is. It is like in the shape of a teardrop and this one is called Pebble, which is such an accurate name. I'll go ahead and list and link everything that I'm showing in this video in the description as always if you wanted to check it out. I am so obsessed with these and I cannot wait to wear them more. I just think these are the most like aesthetic pair of hoops. Thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. Now let's go ahead and jump back into Aloe Yoga. Let's go ahead and start off with what I'm wearing right now because this is the most aesthetic sweat set that I own in my closet and it's so comfy. I cannot get over how plush and oversized and soft these sweat shirt and pants are. These feel like honestly the scuba line from Lululemon, perhaps a little bit softer. Anyway, let me get into it. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. Also, isn't this so cute? It has like an aloe logo, but it's like kind of puffy and in silver. It's so nice. It goes so well with this navy color. This top and bottom is from their Accolade collection. So this sweatshirt, I believe, is just the Accolade like hoodie. It has the actual drawstrings for the hood and it has no zipper. It just has a kangaroo pouch in the middle. It is super oversized. I got it in an extra, extra small. I sized down from my typical size of extra small. I'm really glad that I sized down and that's what I would recommend even if you do like an oversized relaxed fit because this is a size down from my typical size and it's still massive on me, but not too massive where it feels like overwhelming on my body. It just fits me perfectly. This fits like an extra small to me, but I got it in an XX small, if that makes sense. But I'll link everything in the description below. I love the material. It is so soft, like I said. It feels like I am encapsulated into a the softest blanket ever. It's very warm, so it's perfect for fall and winter. This is like the perfect dark navy, and I think it's very flattering on my skin tone because I do struggle a lot with navy colors because I do have like a weird golden, not weird, but golden olivey undertone, which doesn't look the best in a lot of navies, but I think this one is very flattering. The pants are very, very big too. I size down to an XX small from my typical extra small and they're still massive but it does still fit like I can use the drawstring to adjust the waist really tight so that it fits me. I definitely would size down. 
and I'm on the shorter side I am considered petite and my measurements are and everything are in the description as well but these do run long on me it scrunches at the bottom a little bit it's a jogger style so it has a cinched ankle which is the reason why i can still wear this without it dragging on the floor which we'll get into with a different pair of sweatpants that i have to show you but these ones are fine i don't have to get them altered or anything because of the fact that they cinch in they have pockets which are amazing as always i know these are pricey but i feel like i I can justify the price, but it's so expensive. But I can kind of justify the price. It's so soft, you guys. I'm obsessed. I also think the aesthetic just has its own special, unique appeal. It has that like very signature aloe yoga stylish look, if you're into that. It's very street style and effortless, but still very, very comfy. This is a major hit, as you can tell. Maybe I should switch it up and show you guys something that is not so much of a hit for me. I have issues with both of these, so that's why I'm saying this as a whole is kind of a miss for me. I'm not sure. I think the main reason why this didn't work out is because of the color. It is a very light off-white color and don't get me wrong, I love this color. I love my whites and eggshells and beiges and all that good stuff, but the fabric is see-through for the pants and I have an issue with the removable padding inside of this bra. This bra is the airlift, I don't know, sports bra. I love the fit of it, it's true to size on me. I got it in an extra small, and in Lululemon, my bra size is about a four. These have removable cups, which I like. I like when bras have the option of taking the pads out and in. Very cute in the back. It's very strappy but still minimal. I think it strikes a good balance. However, when I put this on, and you'll see in the try-on clip, that the cups do not smooth out completely, so my boobs look, look lumpy. They look lumpy. And I don't like that look, so that's one. And I think I could fix that by just removing the cups or trying to iron the cups out so that it's smooth and then putting it back in. But I have a feeling it's partially because the cups inside the bra is larger than the fabric has space for it. If you get what I'm saying, like the cups are bigger than the actual bra. So it kind of clumps and folds upon itself. That's kind of why this is uh, a miss. But when I take out the removable pads, I actually haven't done that yet, but I have an inkling that it might be see-through. I'm not sure because it is a very light color. It is double lined though, so it should be fine, but I haven't tested that theory. So, and I want to keep the padding in because it gives me a little bit more shape up at the top. That's something to keep in mind. I might just try to smooth out the cups a little bit better so that it doesn't look as lumpy. I do overall love this bra, but I think if you get it in a darker color, it might be better. But I think there's a way to smooth them out, so I'm not super worried about it. And I love the style. This is just a classic aloe yoga bra. It's one of their most popular ones on their website, so I'm excited to wear this. This is the Airlift fabric, which is that uh, contouring kind of sleeker material. It has a little bit of shine. It's not super matte. This fabric is also much more sweat wicking than their aloe soft and other materials. So I like these for higher intensity workouts. If your boobs can handle it, right? Because this is pretty minimal. In terms of coverage, you're not getting a lot. So just keep that in mind if you do have a larger chest. To go with that, I bought the same color flutter leggings. It's a 7 8 length and I got it in a, an extra small, which is my typical size. My biggest gripe with this is that it's see-through and I literally have to wear like the most seamless nude colored thong to be able to get away with wearing this, which, you know, okay, there's a solution. I can do that. It's just higher maintenance. You know what I'm saying? And the color, I don't know what I was thinking, to be honest, when I bought this, I have a feeling that I'm going to be too scared to wear this out because it is such a light color. I mean, if you sit anywhere in public, you'll get something on your butt, but I really wanted it for the aesthetic. I think that's what happens when you shop at Aloe Yoga. It's like, 
practicality, fashion, I don't know. It's like some pieces are just kind of like a toss up between the two. However, I do think that this can be dressed up to be a very, very interesting and fun outfit. It has a slit down the middle of like each of the legs, if that makes sense. It's slightly flared and the slit gives a little bit more interesting texture to it. I like the seam detail going down the middle. The only other thing that bothers me about this is that it does rotate a little bit like the legs when you walk because of the movement. It shifts the pants around a little. So that's something that I don't like about it. I do have to adjust it sometimes. The top, it does have a seam. So if you guys don't like that, then you won't like this. It has a top seam. So if you get a size too small, it might dig into your skin. It doesn't for me because this is the perfect size and it's it actually runs a, like very true to size on me. I feel like there's going to be an occasion for this where I'm gonna love it, but we'll, we'll see when I get to wear this out because it's kind of scary to wear this color out in the wild. In the try-on clip, you'll see how see-through it is because I think you can literally see the tag underneath the pant, which is kind of crazy. I'm wearing a thong in all of my try-on clips and my thong doesn't show because, I mean, the outline of my thong might show a little bit, but not as much as the tag, which is kind of crazy. You can just snip that off, not a big deal, but there's that. Honestly, I think that is the biggest miss for me in this haul. Everything else I do really like. The next piece I'm about to show you is also a matching set and I am obsessed. I love this one so much. It is another airlift line item. I have a top and a bottom to show you. I put these two together, this bra I'm so excited for, and I cannot believe I went so long without trying this, and this is one of their core items. This bra is so fun. I mean, it's very unique and sexy. It has that mesh element to it, which I think makes everything more elevated and sexy. This, I got it in an extra small. I love the design, and the back, it has that V formation. The mesh is kind of like all throughout it kind of has like a double lining effect but the main fabric used in this bra is the airlift which i said is very contouring very smoothing it's very it snatches you without having too much high of a compression this is still really flexible while still being slightly contouring and smoothing it is such a unique look i don't have any bra that is like this which i am really happy about because this is not cheap the the straps aren't adjustable. The size extra small is a smidge loose on me, but not to the point where I feel I can't wear it to a workout. It doesn't fit snug or anything, so I wanted to let you guys know if you are in between sizes, it might be better to size down to your smaller size. To go with that, I grabbed, and I've been meaning to grab this to review, is the Airlift 7 8 length legging. This is, I mean, this has been around for a very long time and I've been meaning to pick this up. I have this in uh, in different colors, but in the shorts version. I never had the legging, like the full length legging or the 7 8 which is the full length for me. So glad I picked it up because I am so impressed. This is so easy to get on and off, but it makes you look so good. It snatches you, it doesn't have a seam at the top band, and it makes your butt look really good. And the fabric is just so nice. It's very high quality, super simple design. Like it doesn't have any bells and whistles to it. It's just a very simple standard legging, but it's the material that is the, I don't know, the highlight of this legging. It's so good. I also own the Aloe Yoga Aloe Soft material legging. This one is a little bit thinner, so it's more breathable and better for like high intensity hip classes, stuff like that where you're going to be sweating a lot. I feel like this is definitely going to be a lot better at sweat wicking. You can wear this all year around, not just in one season or the other. So really, really love this. A total hit for me. Here we go again with the onesie situation. <laughs> I am obsessed with onesies. I feel like I see this everywhere. Whenever I go into the city in DC and walk around, I see at least one person wearing this and for good reason, it is so aesthetic. It's so cute. I believe this is like the Aloe Soft onesie. It's with the V-neck and I just got it in a classic black color. I've been wanting to buy their other 
onesie that is in the gray color and it's always sold out they really need to restock because i really want my hands on it to show you guys in a haul but i was able to get this um instead i got it in a size extra small and it fits me true to size it has removable cups all the bras i featured in this video have removable pads which is nice and same as this onesie i love the length of this because it's not super short but it's not too long where it makes me look shorter i love the back it's very minimal it has two like straps going down each side if that makes sense i mean i can't say enough good things about this this is just an outfit on its own obviously and you can just put on like a cute denim jacket over it or a moto jacket this is the other pair of sweatpants that i got from aloe for this haul and in the try on clip i paired it with a bra that i already owned which is the wellness bra and i'll sh show you that after this this pant this is the accolade sweatpant but not in the it's like a straight leg so it doesn't scrunch up at the bottom near the ankles i also sized down in this to an xx small instead of my typical extra small it is still massive on me and the length is way too long you'll see in the try on clip i actually almost fell because i tripped on the leg i will most definitely have to get this hemmed to fit my height i'm still glad that i picked this up because it is I mean, it's so soft. I kind of understand why these are so expensive because the material is just so thick and plushy like a cloud. I love the style of the straight leg, but this does not come in a petite sizing or short sizing, which is unfortunate because I have to get this hemmed. However, I'm willing to do that for this particular item because I love the quality of it and it's just great. I'm probably never going to pick up another one of these because I don't want to get all of my stuff hemmed all the time because getting things hemmed is expensive. So I want to avoid it if possible, but I just wanted to try this out and show you guys how it fits on me for review purposes in case you guys are similar in height as me. Love this so much. It also has that drawstring, same lovely material. It's lined inside with fleece like all the accolade items it's really great i love this heather gray color as well it's very pretty and in the try on clip you will see me pairing it with this wellness bra which is funny because this gray does not match the gray sweatpants that's because i actually looked it up this color is not the same gray as the sweatpant the sweatpant Gray is called light heather gray, and I believe this called is like light dover gray or something along those lines, so it's a little bit different. This bra is great. I featured it in my videos multiple times in the past in a haul, and I have this in multiple different colors. Has removable pads. It's a ribbed material. Sorry about that. My camera just died. I got it in an extra small, and this fits me true to size, and the material is really thick and substantial. It's ribbed. It's something that is a staple in my closet. I wear this a lot when I'm lounging. I don't tend to work out in this because it is a little thicker and warmer, so, but that's up to you. I think you could definitely work out in this if you wanted, but I use it mostly for loungewear. Last but not least, I have a biker short to show you, and this is in the cinnamon brown color, and I mainly bought this because I wanted something that would match my sweatshirt that I paired this with in my try on clip. I can show it to you guys next, but it's right here. Unfortunately, the color isn't exactly the same as I hoped it to be, but that's okay. It's very minuscule. The difference is so small. This one is such good quality. It is on the thicker side. It's not as soft as their aloe soft material tends to be, and it's a little thicker than their airlift. So it's kind of like in the middle, but obviously airlift has that kind of semi shine look to it. This does not. This is, this looks pretty much like cotton. I got this in an extra small and I think it fits me true to size. The length is really great as well. I believe this is like either the five inch or the six inch, which is pretty standard for me. That's how I like my biker shorts to be. Very comfortable. It doesn't have a seam at the top, which is nice. It does have a seam down the middle, which is not nice because, you know, camel toe situation, but it doesn't really bother me too much. Not much else to say 
about this one. It's nice, good quality, and substantial. I really wanted it to match this hoodie, but it's not the same color. I mean, it is the same color. They're both cinnamon brown, but they have slight differences, I think, due to the fabric. This is a hoodie that I bought a while ago, and I also featured in a haul in the past, but this is like a cropped hoodie. It's called like the headliner hoodie or something like that. It has shoulder pads. I might actually get them removed because I feel like I don't reach for this as much because of the shoulder pads. It does add kind of a bulkiness to it, which I'm not like a huge fan of. So I might get that removed. You let me know what you think. It's a really beautiful color. I love brown. You guys already know this. I love the hood. It's very soft, not as soft as the accolade ones, but they are still very soft and it is fleece lined inside as well. So perfect for fall and winter. I do think that I'm going to take the shoulder pads out though, because it's not my cup of tea. I feel like I prefer shoulder pads, like minimal shoulder pads and blazers, but not so much in like a hoodie form. I will keep you guys updated what I do with this one <laughs> in like a future outfit diaries or something like that. And that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Another huge thanks goes to Ana Louise for collaborating with me on a portion of today's video. Make sure to check them out, show them some love. Like I said, they're having a huge sale in November, so definitely go ahead and check out their website. I'll link everything below. Please like if you haven't already, subscribe if you want to stick around, and I will talk to you guys in the comments. Bye.